I wanted to show off how fast our new AIMNET2 method that we added to Rowan today can be. So I thought I'd demonstrate running an optimization and a frequency calculation on Zeljans Live. So um, here, as you can see, we're on the Rowan new calculation page. We've uploaded Zeljans as a smile string and auto-generated the structure. We've selected AIMNET2 as our method. So we'll, um, we'll queue up an optimization and a frequency calculation and watch how long it takes. So Zeljans is a Pfizer's Janus kinase inhibitor, um, which is actually used for a lot of things. Um, so the, the full name is tofacitinib. Um, and you can see we just loaded this in from the smile string down here. Um, OK, so as you can see, we've already started running the calculation, and we've done eight steps. So we can update our viewer here and see what we've been doing. You know, so pretty typical start of optimization stuff, adjusting all the bond lengths for this level of theory. And if we open up our log file, you know, we can see that the actual model inference steps only take about 120 milliseconds. So the slow step in this optimization actually is running the optimizer. So we're using geometric and actually figuring out, you know, running the Hessian updates, doing the trust radius, you know, trying to figure out um, which coordinates to go to next. Um, okay, so I'll update our viewer again. You see now we've run 24 steps. Um, and we're starting to, you know, get a bit closer to where we want to be. You know, the change in energy is pretty small. The RMS and max gradient is getting pretty low. Okay, so another 37 steps right here. Um, and actually, that's it. The calculation's done, and we've already run the frequencies. So you can see here there's no negative frequencies, so this is a true ground state. And this whole calculation took us just about one minute, so 61 seconds. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this log file, um, above all the thermochemical information, we can see that the Hessian computation took under five seconds. Um, and for those of you with any experience in computational chemistry, you realize just how crazy that is.